And as you can see, now 4-0 for Japan. It's a surprise that they can go that far in the lead against Chinese Taipei, the fourth seat in this tournament. Now men's singles, the third men's singles is coming up and it's Yang Chiche against Kanza Sunayama of Japan. And here the two players are coming onto court, ready to play the final match in this tie between Chinese Taipei and Japan in the Thomas Koch Group C. Yang Chijie of uh, Chinese Taipei against Kanta Suniyama. And the head-to-head, -head, as you can see, Kanta Suniyama is leading 1-0. Last meeting was in the Chinese Taipei Masters 16. Uh, he won on the different scoring system where they played uh, best of 5 to 11. So this is a complete new game. Of course, playing under the scoring system of best of 5 is totally different from playing this best of three to 21. Oh. And Yang Chi Che is 26 years of age, 180 centimeters, and his world ranking is 296. And the highest he has been is 161, and that was in 27th of April, 2017 when that happened. However, his ranking is only based on three tournaments and that's why it's uh, so low. He was not selected to play against Hong Kong, but he played against uh, Germany. And he played Mark Swiebler, who has made a return to the German team for this Thomas Kopp. And he won 21-17, 21-17. And that's actually quite a good win when you consider that Mark Swiebler have actually done really well in this tournament so far. Sunayama, age 21, 172 centimeters, and his ranking is 34. The highest is 27, and that happened on the 22nd of February, 2018. And his tournament results so far. He was also selected against uh, Mark Swiebler. Uh, a match lasting 58 minutes. Ready to play. And the uh, umpire for this match is Fabio Beto of Italy. And uh, his service judge is Nguyen of Vietnam. So we are soon ready to begin this match. The final match of uh, the tie between Chinese Taipei and Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Japan. Represented by Tsuneyama Kanta. On my left, Chinese Taipei, presented by Yang Jinxie. Chinese Taipei to serve. Lobo. 
Please don't be deceived by the ranking of Yang Chili Che with this uh, being uh, 296 on the world ranking. Doesn't say a lot, uh, but be reminded that is just having played three tournaments. So he would be a lot, lot higher on the world ranking had he played the 10 tournaments required. It works in a way that your 10 best results are counting towards your world ranking. Should you play, let's say, 15 tournaments, you can take the five worst results and throw them away and just use your 10 best. And that's how the world ranking is working. So if you have played three tournaments, it means that it's divided by, by 10. Have you played 10 tournaments, then your average will be divided by 10. Also interesting to see in this match that uh, Japan has chosen to play their fourth player in the team. They did not choose to play Sakai, who is actually ranked number 17 in the world, but instead they have chosen Sumiyama, who is 34 in the world. Sumiyama won the Canadian Open last year and beat no other than Kento Momota in three games, 21-14 in that last game. But mind you, that, that was uh, one of the first tournaments that Kento Momota played after coming back from his suspension. He also won the Austrian Open in 2017. And in 16, he won the Finnish Open. And in 2014, in the Asian Junior Championship, he won silver. So yet one of these young Japanese players on the way forward, 21 years of age. And I can just add on to that, that uh, Suniyama, he played against Kenta Momoto again in uh, Macau later in the year where he, he earlier beat him in uh, in Canada, he then lost to him in the Macau Open later in the year, 
21-19, And that was in the quarterfinal. In, in both, both accounts, sideline and backline. I also would like to add that. Uh, I don't know the reasons behind it, but it's, it seems from the outside world to be quite an odd selection to uh, choose to play uh, young Chi Che because he is only the 18th ranked Chinese Taipei player on the world ranking. There are 17 players ranked higher than him on that world ranking. But uh, I'm sure the coaches have got their reasons and uh, have to believe in this player. He's been chosen to play this match. Backhand drop shot there from Suniyama. Most of these uh, Chinese Taipei players, they have quite an awesome smash. They fairly tall build, most of them, and they hit really well. Play Summer, here by uh, Sunayama getting into the mid game interval 11 8 up. But the way he controlled that rally was really nice, and the cross drop shot made the whole difference. Try to have a look at this. Yes, that's really well played. Good pressure. Eight. Play. And we're 
ready to resume play here. Nice, this guy shot. That lift was really well kept in by Sunyama. He was under pressure, he got that shot very low, lifted it to the back line with very proper length, and that was setting up the opportunity for an attack on the coming shot. Well played, 12 8 up. It's not easy to control from here when you have to play the baseline like this. There's no doubt that the shorter Suniyama is really controlling, got more pace in his legs and play a lot faster, attacking as much as he can, where his taller opponent is, is more waiting for his attacking opportunities. And here, once again, a very fine example of how Suniyama is able to control the drift and play to the baseline, to the, down to that back line where so difficult to keep it in because of the the drift in the hall. Yeah, that's nice. That's beautifully played. Young CJ. That one coming back there, but look at this one. That's the beauty. Well played. Closing the gap to just five points, but still a tall order for the player from Chinese Taipei. And this was unlucky for Sunyama. Almost crawling over, but stayed on his side. Yeah, going wide of the sideline. Once again, Suniyama is in a five-point lead here, is not really able to put some pressure on oh, I just said that and it happened commentators curse he I feel that he's not really able to put the pressure on Suniyama Suniyama is just too quick all over him all the time but here that flick down to the deep forehand corner really made the difference and a nice follow-up to finish so 11 16 but we need to see a lot more of that point before he needs to make these shot counts put the pressure on his opponent I'm sure he's trying everything he can but he cannot afford to make these mistakes he's 18 11 down now 
errors are just creeping into his game. Definitely to the liking of Suriyama this. There's no doubt he is a very good running player and very, very fit. And this he doesn't mind at all. coming up here. And first game, first game Japan, 21, goes to Japan 21-11 in just 17 minutes. And I must say, it looks very comfortable at the moment. So the players here are ready to resume play. Yang Jiche really have to find some answers here. Not only did he lose uh, the first game, but he also lost the first game on the good end, which means that it's going probably Second going to day. be even more difficult for him to keep uh, shots in on that back line and so on. So there's only one way, as all-out attack play. and try to play as fast as you can and put your opponent under pressure because the way he's been playing so far is not going to do the trick for him. Really good smash down the line there by Suniyama. One love. smash this is what we should see some more look at that that's much better good pressure 
good pace. Cut the touch at the net here, letting him down. say at uh, this match it looked like uh, one-way traffic Suriyama really really seems to be in control now 4-1 up and have won the first game very comfortably 21-11 Smash, good pressure. And that's a good lift. That was a very, very good lift from a difficult situation there by Sumiyama. And as you can see, the problem with it as well is that uh, Young is kind of falling out of court and not being able to follow up should that shot have been in. Playing it very, very tight. Still, Sunyama did quite well to lift it. But good play by, by Young here. Closing the gap to three points, but uh, he needs a lot, lot more of this to be able to win this match. Yeah, good play. Good play. Nice drive cross court. Five, seven. Suddenly four points in a row Seven. here for Young. Chinese Taipei. Which is making this look a lot, lot, lot better. He was 7-2 down, now it's 7-6. Michelle Lee. Was 
That shot there from Young. Saved by Suriyama, but here he missed that opportunity. And suddenly, six points in a row. And Young is eight, seven up. What a good run of points here. Oh, that's a beauty. That's really well played, that cross-court defensive shot. Ten, seven. And being 7-2 down, having lost the first game, 21-11. Suddenly, he's 10-7 up in this second game. That's a fantastic comeback by Young. And eventually, the runner points came to a, a halt. But only by Suniyama clipping the top of the tape on that one. Can you believe if that had not gone over? Then it would have been nine points in a row. Silver, 11, eight, so Yang Ji Che here in the lead, 11 8 after 11 minutes for the mid game interval. And once again, driving that one really well played. These cross court drives is making a huge difference. So well played. Court one twenty seconds, court one twenty seconds. Good play here again. See that cross court over. smash is making 12, a good difference. He's using his height. But there's no doubt that it's very clever indeed when you uh, play Sumiyama that uh, you play your smashes back to where he's coming over, from 10, rather than go to 12. the side where he's actually running towards. Even though there might be a big gap, he's very quick getting it. But if you play it back to the same side as where he's coming from, he finds it a little bit tricky to turn. Service over, 13, 10.
Yeah, that's a nice follow-up. First that reverse smash down the line, and then the follow-up. Service over, 11. But third. can you imagine if Young was able to get that cross court? But this smash was really well directed. Back to 13 all. all. After having been down 11 8 at the interval, Sunayama now back to 13 all. Yeah. Good play again by Sunayama. Suddenly he's got the spring back in his legs and uh, playing with much higher quality of shots. That slice from the around the head situation really opened up and the follow-up was of course just a formality. mistakes just make sure that uh, you keep the pressure on your opponent I'm sure that's the way that uh, Sunayama is thinking don't take too many too, uh, big chances just keep it going Suddenly six points in a row. 10-13. Turned around to 16-13. In favor of Sunayama. Stuff. Good change here. So often he's going straight down the line from that forehand situation. The first one down the line, but the second one here, look at that. That variation is making a very, very big difference. And celebrating. Just three points away from making a clean sweep here for Japan. Who would have thought going into this match 
Chinese Taipei seeded four in the tournament, Japan just in the five to eight layer. But still Japan seems to come off with a 5-0 win against Chinese Taipei. That's a surprise, especially seen in the light of the fact how much trouble Japan had beating Germany yesterday afternoon. 1915, two points away from a clean sweep. Service over 1690. That's a good shot. And that's going long on the baseline. And four Service match points. Over. 20, has arrived 20 16. 16. Yeah, that was clever not to go for the big smash he was far too much under pressure one more time here difficult that shot Service over. third time back to the net is definitely not Quick. easy Quick. and Suniyama is asking to towel down and uh, Fabio Beto of Italy is allowing him just a quick toweling down before resume play That's a nice one. But Young read it well, covered that net shot well. And you can hear the Japanese teammates rooting for their player on court. But once again, Young saved the match point. Now saved two match points. 18-20. Japan wins 5-0 against Chinese Taipei and in the third men's singles here a very very happy Suniyama who won in straight games in 38 minutes 21-11 21-18 and that's a very very that's happy man Japan, 21 -11, 21 and here we have the match point follow up there and that's the final shot final kill and Yang can only get the racket to that shot but that's not enough 